common diseases that can be transmitted by hamsters to humans. What are the diseases that can be transmitted to humans by a hamster? 1. LCMV, the lymphocytic oreomeningitis virus. If your hamster is affected by this virus, it will not present symptoms at the beginning, except maybe a small lack of activity and appetite. But after a few days, his condition will worsen, your hamster will lose a lot of weight, have a stooped posture and may even die if he is not treated. How is this virus transmitted from the hamster to humans? If your hamster is a carrier of LCM, it can be bitten by a mosquito and transmit the virus to you while you are sleeping. Signs of LCMV in humans A flu-like condition, fever and loss of appetite, vomiting, a headache or stiff neck and muscles. A flu-like condition, fever and loss of appetite head underscore circle, a headache or stiff neck and muscles. Babies and kids under 6, people over 65 years old and people with weakened immune systems such as diabetics and those with HIV are the most exposed to this zoonosis. Signs of pastoralosis in humans, wound infection a risk of generalized infection in people with low immunity nervous system damage in the most severe cases, very rare, pastorella affects the lungs and the skin of the hamster and can have as a symptom only the nasal discharge. Your hamster can transmit this disease by scratching you or after a bite. 3. Salmonellosis, a zoonosis of the hamster? Your hamster can get salmonellosis and give it to you by eating infected raw meat or just by coming into contact with the feces of other small rodents like mice that have this intestinal bacteria. If your hamster contracts this bacteria and passes it on to you, you will have the following symptoms. Fever, abdominal cramps, diarrhea and vomiting. 4. Can hamsters carry Campylobacter and give it to humans? This disease of rodents, especially hamsters, is one of the zoonotic diseases that hamsters can transmit. It is difficult to know if your hamster is a carrier of Campylobacter because it may not show any signs of illness, rarely a slight diarrhea. Its symptoms in humans are similar to those of salmonellosis, diarrhea, abdominal pain and cramps, fever. This disease is potentially dangerous in fragile people, infants and pregnant women. 5. Rabies from hamster to humans. If your hamster has rabies, you will see the following symptoms hyperactivity and a hamster that seems too excited hydrophobia, fear of water, aerophobia, fear of drafts or fresh air. 6. Hamsters could carry ringworms. This is the disease most transmitted by hamsters and rodents in general to humans. This disease is a fungal infection, that is to say by fungi, microsporum or trichophyton. They attack the skin of the hamster, its hair and even its nails. If a hamster transmits ringworm to a human, it will have the same symptoms, nails that crumble and peel off after they swell. Affected areas may lose the red ring hairs. Skin rash raised red skin with itching. The hamster transmits ringworm to humans by direct contact. If you touch your hamster when it is infected with these fungi and you do not wash your hands, you will contract this disease. 7. Tapeworms, or Rodentolepis. Hamsters can contract this disease if they are visited by a mouse carrying rodentolopiasis and hymenolopiasis, or by capturing an insect carrying the eggs of these VRS that has entered their cage at night. This disease, tapeworms, can be transmitted to humans via the stools of the hamster. Your hamster will thus become carrier of this disease and it will be able to quickly transmit it to you. This disease can heal itself within 6 weeks, so it has no complications if you do not detect it. What are the signs of zoonosis in infected children? A child with weakened immunity, will show some symptoms if it contracted a transmissible disease from its hamster, here are the most common, fever or the beginning of a cold frequent headaches coughing and chills loss of appetite, nausea and vomiting insomnia muscle pain and neck stiffness pain in the joints of the affected child pain in the abdomen, itching general fatigue and finally skin rash. How to avoid contracting zoonotic diseases from a hamster? The first thing to do is of course to prevent your hamster from becoming sick and carrying contagious diseases. The diseases that can be transmitted from the hamster to the human can be, bacteria like Salmonella, Campylobacter, fungal like ringworm, and dermatophytosis, parasitic like fleas and worms, viral pathogen like rabies. Here is a series of advices to avoid that your hamster transmits you diseases, 1 to avoid zoonotic diseases, keep your hamster's enclosure always clean. To wash your hands well. 3. Avoid bringing your hands to your mouth when your hamster is with you. 4. Avoid bites and scratches from your hamster. 5. Children should be supervised in the presence of a hamster. 6. Submit your hamster to a screening. 7. Use a mask when cleaning your hamster's cage. 
8. Keep your hamster away from other animals. Should I be worried and what are the chances that my hamster will pass on a zoonotic disease to me? As I said before, 99.99% .99 of people who have hamsters will never experience these zoonotic diseases. Hamsters rarely carry diseases that can be transmitted to humans, which makes them very safe pets for children and even pregnant women if they follow the few common sense and hygienic measures I mentioned earlier. Let's not forget, finally, that we can also transmit diseases to the hamster, such as influenza, pneumonia. That's why it is important to wash your hands before handling your small, beautiful and fragile hamster. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. For more information about hamsters, please visit our blog familypet.com. I'll see you in the next video.